Start with putting on a cone tip at the end of the extension rod. You will get two types of cone tips, one permanent and one sacrificial. For shallow tests or soft soils, the permanent cone is okay to use. But for deeper tests or tests in dense soils, we recommend using the sacrificial cone. Now connect the hydraulic hoses and the cone tip, then thread the impact anvil on top of the rod. Place the hydraulic lifting arm device on the anvil, make sure it's seated properly in the slot. Safely load the 30 kilogram hammer weight into the lifting device and check that it's sitting correctly on the arm. Before you start, use the bubble level on the lifting arm to make sure the drive rod is standing straight up and down. Once it's vertical, you're ready to test. Operate the pedal to lift and drop the hammer. Each drop is one blow. Count how many blows it takes to drive the rod 10 centimeters into the ground. The rods are notched every 10 centimeters, so use those marks as your guide. Keep the same reference points such as the ground level, concrete, or a pipe throughout the test so your numbers stay consistent. Keep recording blows every 10 centimeters until you're about 10 to 20 centimeters from the ground. At that point, stop and add another rod. While lifting off the hammer and the arm, have one person hold the rod steady so it doesn't move up from the ground and potentially dislodge the sacrificial cone tip. Thread on the next rod, hand tighten, and snug it up with the wrenches. Put the anvil back on top of the rods, set the lifting arm, load the hammer, and keep going with the same process. In very soft soils, you might see a single blow drive the rod more than 10, 20, 30, or even 40 centimeters. In that case, Count it as one blow for the first 10 centimeters and mark zeros for the next 10 centimeter intervals until you reach the correct depth. If the hammer's weight alone sinks the rod without dropping, just keep the recording zeros until the rod stops moving. Remember, each rod is one meter long and the kit comes with 10 rods, giving you a max depth of about 30 feet. Always keep one rod in reserve, however, so you can pull the rods out with the extractor later. When you're done with the test, shut off the power unit and release pressure in the hydraulic lines by pumping the pedal back and forth a few times before pulling out the hydraulics. Then grab the red hydraulic extractor, hook it up in the power unit, clamp the vice grips on the rod and hydraulically extract the rods, unthreading them as you go.